Today we're looking at the Space Bender from Death by Audio. And boy, am I glad to finally be using this pedal. Um, I ordered one of these when it first came out a few months back. And uh, when it arrived, I plugged the pedal in and it didn't work. So I sent it back to the seller. They sent me another one. And when I plugged that one in, that one didn't work either. At that point, I decided to cut my losses. I got my money refunded. I returned the second pedal. I waited a little while. I ordered one from a different seller this time. And when that one arrived, I plugged it in and guess what? It didn't work. At that point, I contacted Death by Audio. They could not have been more helpful. They could not have been more attentive. A big shout out to Heather and Cameron and Sean. They uh, had me send the pedal in. They received it the next day. Um, I live in New York, not far from where this pedal is manufactured. They fixed it the same day and they put it right back in the mail to me. I have it. I've been playing with it for a few days now. I'm really enjoying it. It's death by audio, so you know it's wild, you know it's off the wall. We're going to plug it in and go through some settings and hear how it sounds. So here we go. So before we plug the space bender in and hear how it sounds, it's helpful to have an understanding of how the pedal actually works. So the way the pedal is laid out, you've got three toggle switches along the left, you've got two control knobs along the right, and you've got your foot switch. This first toggle switch at the top controls your delay time. Switch it to the left to the X1 setting and you've got very short delay times. Flip it to the right to the X10 setting and you're getting very long delay times. In addition to that, the speed knob here is going to control the overall speed of that delay, giving you a little bit more control over the delay time. Not only is it doing that, but the speed knob is also tied to this modulator switch. On the left, you've got an LFO. On the right, you've got an envelope. So when the modulator switch is set to LFO, the speed knob is not only controlling your overall delay time, but it's also controlling the overall speed of the LFO, okay? When it's set to envelope, it's actually controlling the sensitivity of the envelope. So this one knob is doing a lot of things at once. It's controlling your overall delay time and it's also controlling either the speed of the LFO or the sensitivity of the envelope. Down on the bottom, you've got your intensity switch, and that switch is between low and high. So when it's set to low, you're going to get a less intense version of the effect. When it's set to high, you're going to get a much more intense version of the effect, and it's going to get much wilder. Um, and then what the depth knob is doing is it's controlling the depth of the envelope or the LFO, depending on which setting you've got, but it's also controlling the overall feedback of the delay. So again, these knobs are not one trick ponies. They're, they're carrying a lot of weight here and doing a lot of work at the same time. And that's basically how the overall uh, effect works. Um, it's also important to note that internally there is a gain trimmer. So if you unscrew the back plate, you can access the gain control inside the pedal. And it ranges from unity gain to what they call way too loud. So um, that's important to note. And it uses a center negative tip, uh, positive ring DC 9 volt adapter for power and draws 65 milliamps of current. So those are the specs. That's the layout. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds.
Well, there you have it, folks. That is the Space Bender from Death by Audio. If you are having any concerns about the quality of these pedals or about ordering one, I would like to go ahead and just put those concerns to bed right now. Um, I was informed by the staff at Death by Audio that there was an issue with one of the chips used in the pedal early on. That issue has since been rectified. If you do have a pedal that's not working or you encounter one that's not working, Go ahead and send it in to them. They'll fix it and they'll get it right back to you. And I promise you it's worth waiting for. It's a really cool pedal. It's really unique. It doesn't sound like any other pedal that I've played. Um, and I'm really having a good time with it. If you did find this review helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified about future episodes. And we'll see you back here for the next demo. Have a great rest of your day and take care.